Hi Survivors, it's me Purple Zan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. We're going to continue our series on 21 ways you could prepare for the frigid winter which is approaching. Okay, so we stopped out, we stopped at I think Safeguard Spigots, okay, and uh, then we did the clear out the gutters and if you didn't go uh, listen to that video, go back and listen to that video first and then come back to this one. Clear out the gutters, um, wrap exposed pipes, Seal gaps and other openings. Um, insul insulate your walls and attics, which is very important because that'll keep a lot of heat stored in and keep a lot of that cold air out. Bundle up your water heater, which is very important. Focus on your fireplace. A lot of people had fireplaces during that Texas winter storm, but didn't even know how to use it. Didn't even have wood or anything for that. So now's a good time to make sure that you got all that intact. Reverse the fan blade direction. That's in, uh, in, re in regards to your ceiling fan. Lay off the lawn and then have you serviced your car, which is very vital. Um, keep ice melt in your trunk. Winterize your wheels. Pack an emergency kit. We know what the emergency kit consists of. If you don't, at this point, you need to go back to some more purple channels. Even in this channel, go to Googling it because I don't have time to go through it. But we know the basics are food, water, and like your first aid supplies. Um, alcohol, peroxides, band-aids. And also pack your uh, your safety <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever you use for safety, install winter hardy windshields on your cars. Um, minimize driving, which is very important. Evaluate roadside assistant services. Tweak your thermostat, you know, keeping it at a certain temperature, uh, you know, will keep your bill low and to keep your house, you know, pretty warm. Use a, use a humidifier. Reduce the temperature and durations of your showers. Uh, know your limits. And that's basically it. So I want to go back and read in between some of these like I did on the first video on the part one for 21 ways uh, to prepare for a frigid rent winter. I want to go through all of them first and then go back and read, um, you know, some of the commentary in regards to each subject, right? Like I did in the first video. I just wanted to go ahead and get that done just in case my phone go off or whatever. <laughs> so with wrap exposed pipes, I think we did to clear out the gutters, right? So with wrapped exposed pipes, gifts aren't the only thing you want to wrap up this winter. Many unsuspected homeowners have gone out of town during a particularly cold stretch only to return to a flood caused by an exposed pipe that froze and burst. Wrap insulation sleeves around pipes that run through unheated areas, such as attics and crawl spaces, to protect pipes from freezing and heat loss. And keep your home dry and your heating bill low. When it comes to sealing your gaps and other openings, you can apply caulk. Or weather stripping to drafty windows and doors can keep the cold out and the heat in, maximizing indoor comfort and saving you anywhere from 5 to 10% in your energy costs. Sealing up gaps can also prevent melted ice or snow from rotting exterior features. So take a day before the temperatures dip to caulk joints between walls and window frames and door frames and place weather stripping around window sashes. Insulate your walls and attics. An under-insulated home is subject to the cold spots and higher heating bills, while a properly insulated home enjoys evenly distributed warmth, increased indoor comfort, and energy savings. The most effective places to insulate are interior walls, attics, and unheated garages. But it's important to find and repair any leaks in those areas before adding bat spray foam, loose fill, or blown in insulation. Bundle up your water heater. Y'all, this is important. Have an older water, have have an older hot water heater? Do you have an older hot water heater? Heater, if you, if it is, our value is less than 24. Or if it's warm to the touch, consider wrapping it with a water heater insulation blanket designed to fit your size tank, made of materials that range from foil to fiberglass. These flexible accessories are like a jacket for your water heater, and they can reduce heat loss by 25 to 45%. With the 7 to 16% you're saving energy costs, you can recoup the purchase price of the blanket in less than a year. Focus on your fireplace, very important. If you have, haven't had your chimney inspected this year, have a CS 
SIA certified chimney inspector. Give it a once over before your first burn, burn of the winter to eliminate creosote. That's a flammable sooty buildup or obstructions that can spark chimney fires. When the fireplace isn't in use, close the damper above the firebox to keep warm indoor air from escaping and cold air from entering the house through the, through the chimney. Reverse the bl fan blade direction. If your fan blades on your ceiling fans are still set to turn counterclockwise, the warm air you crave will float to the ceiling, while cold air will get pushed down towards the floor level where you are. To avoid wintertime chills, switch your fans to rotate clockwise so that the blades will push warm air down to you. That's pretty, pretty wise. Lay off the line. Uh, before the first frost, it's important to um, A-E-R-A-T-E, a e r a t e a Aerate, aerate the lawn, punch holes into it to allow the soil to breathe. After all the natural compaction that has occurred over the past year, this can be done, be done with an aerator, a tool with spike tines that pierce the soil, or for larger lawns with an electric or gas powered aerator or one that can be towed behind a lawnmower. But once your turf has gone dormant for the winter, keep kids, pets, and equipment off of it as much as possible. Heavy traffic can damage the turf, turf grass crowns that grow at soil level, resulting in bare patches of grass in spring. Have your car service. A car breakdown is an unwelcome at any time of the year, but it's positively horrible when you have to prop open the hood and diagnose the problem in freezing temperatures. To avoid getting stranded in the cold, check your car's manual to see if you're due for service. Be sure to make that appointment before the first freeze. If you can afford to make all recommended, re recommended repairs, focus on the batteries, the brakes, the cables, spark plugs, and tires. I'm going to add check change that all check them fluids which are very very important and make sure you keep those fluids in there i mean that's really important y'all can prevent motor problems with that keep ice melt in the trunk that's a really good idea you can't wait for snow to thaw before you hit the road so be sure to keep ice melt such as a bag bag of rock salt in the back seat of your car not in the trunk which can freeze shut having ice melt clothes at hand means you're always ready to care to care of now ice or walkways and driveways to help prevent nasty slips, falls, or car accidents. Carry sand as well. You can throw it over the saw to provide needed traction when you're trying to get your car out of an icy spot. Winterize your wheels. That basically means have the right type of wheels for your car. If you regularly venture out into heavy snow, consider swapping your swapping your traditional tires for a set of snow tires, which feature treads with large gaps that help improve traction. To preserve the tread on snow tires, tires wait until daytime temperatures are consistently 50 degrees F or below to install them. In addition to or in place of snow tires, consider the tire socks, which are fabric tire covers that slip over your tire like a sock and perform almost as well as and sometimes better than snow tires when decelerating on slick surfaces, according to com consumer reports. Pack an emergency kit, okay? Now, the kit it should contain everything you need to cope with a sudden breakdown and the stranding that could result at a minimum. Pack a flashlight, extra batteries, road flares, jumper cables, first aid kit, a small supply of snacks that won't freeze. For instance, chips or cookies. Um, I always have non-perishables like canned goods, a lot of water, um, water by way of water bottles. Uh, winter accessories including gloves, boots, blankets, coats, of course. Uh, salt, they already said salt. Install winter hardy windshield wipers. That's pretty much self-explanatory. Self Minimize your driving, which is pretty, uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Don't drive as much. Evaluate roadside resources like, um, what is that, AAA or whomever that you use and that you trust that you can call on in a, in a, a case that your um, car gets stranded on the road. Tweak your thermostat self-explanatory put your temperatures on your thermostat at the same temperature have it like that throughout the duration of the winter you can save a lot of money like that as well use a humidifier even when the thermostat set to moderate temperatures central heating can quickly quickly eva evaporate the moisture in your skin leaving it dry and flaky invest in a humidifier and a, a device that emits water vapor to increase the moisture of surrounding air reduce the temperatures and duration of your showers that mean minimize the time that you stay in the shower know your limits while winter may bring a long list to do's from clearing snow to scraping ice over extortion 
coupled with the construction of blood vessels brought on by the coal can put a strain on the heart. Whether you're sh uh, shoveling snow, pushing a snow blower, or push starting a stalled car. Avoid overdoing it by stretching before the activity. This is really good um, information because if you don't stretch and you're doing things like this, you can cause an injury. It happened to me plenty of times when I was jogging and wouldn't stretch before I was jogging years ago. I don't do that anymore. Um, so please take stretch, stretch, stretches every day. I hope this was helpful. It was really helpful to me as well. It's a reminder, y'all, we have to get prepared for the winter. And this is not even a series in, in dealing with food and water. I'm going to deal with that next. And we should already be prepared for that. But just in case people are not, I'm going to talk about the dangers of not being prepared, especially these days and times when we're facing all this food scarcity. So please give this video a thumbs up if it's your first time watching this channel and uh, you like the content and you want to get more tips on how to survive these days and times or be informed of the news in real news language instead of lame stream uh, media language. Please hit the red button um, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on my other platforms, BitChute and Patreon. Also, if you're looking for bug out areas in Texas, we have some for sale and for lease. Please support the allegedly and the good luck with t-shirts. All the proceeds go back into the channel so we keep this channel going. Thank you so much for watching. You guys, as always, watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil your water before you use it and keep surviving.